Hi guys, I'm back with another uh, mini album. This one actually is a custom order for a lady named Tiffany in Virginia. And she really liked my um, baby's first year mini album, the gatefold style that I had uh, created last year and it had sold. So uh, she wanted kind of a recreation. And because the papers that I used from last year were, um, I guess, discontinued, uh, we found uh, the Simple Stories Hello Baby papers. She really liked that uh, collection as well, so I thought I'd use it for this one. Um, the tutorial I used to create the um, base of the album was uh, by my sister Scrapper, and it was her Sweet Day mini album. She goes through um, how to do the construction and all that, and then you can just uh, decorate it the way you want or use the paper line that she used. Um, so what I did here was uh, create it custom for Tiffany uh, using the Hello Baby Simple Stories paper and um, she wanted this for a little boy so I kind of kept it more towards the boy colors than um, using the pinks. So for the front cover I used a really pretty paper that says love up in the top corner and I also used uh, a banner strip to put along here. Uh, these were two different papers so I kind of pieced them together and then I used a banner strip right here. Um, it's a little ruler and I also used some ribbon for my stash as the closure. So the sides and the back are the same paper and that comes in the collection and let's get it into this. So it opens up like this and what I have here is um, this side here there wasn't really um, any room for either the ultrasound picture or um, the baby's uh, newborn picture so I thought I'd leave a little space right here where it says welcome little one and down here I made a little pocket and I added some of the um, cut aparts and it says hello baby there's a little journaling spot here um, you can put some um, dates and weight and whatever you'd like here and then it says so precious and on the back they're just um, the reverse side of the paper and I left room right here so that she can add a picture of the baby as a newborn so these just get tucked into there. On this side right here, um, instead of having the the actual details of the baby as they grow on the um, monthly cards, they had one large one that had all the all the months with the details listed um, on one journaling card. So I thought that was kind of cute, and I thought that would be a nice place to put it right at the beginning. So I did cut apart the uh, B-A-B-Y for baby and I added that there and this is a nice little spot where she can um, keep track of um, how the baby grows. So for the first month here I have a little journaling spot and um, it says tons of love and I did add some glossy accents here and there to different elements of um, the papers. So this is for month one. There's a nice base for a picture here. And there's also a pullout. So here, this one says baby. And she can do whatever she wants. She can probably uh, use like a white chalk pen or something and, and write some details and add a small picture or just add a large picture here. And that just goes back in here. And when you flip it open like this, we're on to month two. So here I cut out some of the hearts and I just added them to the side. Um, they're left open so you can slide a picture in behind there. So this is the room for the picture for the second month. And um, here's a little journaling card for the second month. And that's left plain on the back. And here is the pullout for the second month. So this one has Love You to the Moon and it has some um, twinkle twinkle little star um, music paper here and um, this has nice room for um, a large photo. So on to the third month which is right here. Um, again I've left a little journaling card or um, this one says love you to the moon 
and I did uh, glossy accent the moon. I don't know if you can pick that up in the video or not. And here is the three month card. So you can put a picture of the baby here and this pulls out to give you more room for pictures and it says good things come in small packages and I've left the corners open here so you can slide your picture behind. Um, for these ones I recommend that once you've like put in your your photo to kind of glue, glue down the edges just to keep them from um, because they'll be pulled in and out um, it's just easier to have them glued down so that they don't get all crinkled or um, or damaged in the process and that just goes back in there and then it opens out like this and here's month four so here's the fourth month and it says love you to the moon and I've glossy accented this um, the moon and the two little stars and I've added that same little journaling card you can write on the back or just um, attach it to the picture somewhere um, so I've as you can see I've left this open so she can slide her picture behind here and like I say I recommend just once you've stuck your picture in to kind of just glue these down um, because of the way it opens and closes um, they can get crinkled or damaged or anything so it's just easier once you have your pictures in to glue everything down so they stay in place and this is the fourth month card or, or uh, pull out and under here I've left these open again so she can add uh, two uh, well four pictures and, and um, journaling if she wishes um, or just add all kinds of pictures around there so for the middle is the fifth month and here I have a portrait style picture and it says love beyond measure and here is the pullout for the fifth month so she can add like one really large picture in there if she likes and then you flip it over and you're on to the sixth month so this one here um, I added the Instagram camera and it says insta sweet and I've glossy accented the heart and here's a little card that says baby and I've also put some glossy accents on the baby so it could be used as a journaling card or you can stick it down wherever you like um, there's the six months and I have a nice portrait style picture here so opening this <clears throat> pull out she has lots of room to put picture on the inside um, of the pull out and that just slides back in here and then this one right here is the seventh month and I did add um, a little strip right here to use as a pocket um, this is a nice um, horizontal photo here and I have love beyond measure and this little journaling card right here so she can journal on those if she likes and I just tuck them in here but she can put them wherever she wants in the album and for the pullout here on this side I did add um, some more cut aparts I had bought two paper pads for this one just in case um, I needed to use more pink or more blue or um, or just in case I make a mistake or whatever so I did have lots of room for um, extra cut aparts and stuff that I could add in so I thought I'd make it a little more um, interactive and I have a large mat right here and here is a strip of paper that I used um, the little elephants as a belly band and down here the little elephant says tons of love and it's just a stopper to stop um, the photos from going anywhere and I had some extra cut aparts that I thought that she could use as photo mats and journaling uh, room for journaling and those just fit right back in here so to flip over we're on to the eighth month and it's a horizontal page and it says hello baby and I left that open so she can tuck her picture behind there um, I added some little strips along the sides of each um, photo mat just in case she wanted to put some journaling there or um, a date or whatever she'd like 
and here is the eighth month pullout and this comes out as well so she can add picture and journaling on both sides or she can just add a picture and then glue down the corners to hold it in um, it does slide in pretty easily I really like this collection because they do give you the the different months um, up to 12 so you can create some really nice um, baby layouts one for each month um, of their first year and um, I think the colors and the actual images are just adorable they're not too too baby they're kind of vintagey and I kind of like that feel so um, I hope she really likes uh, how this turned out um, so here we are on to the ninth month and again I do have a little um, cut apart right here and it says twinkle twinkle little star and I glossy accented the stars and um, so she has a nice portrait size picture uh, portrait size mat here for a photo and there is the uh, pull out so lots of room for pictures so turning over to the 10th month um, this one right here I used uh, one of the journaling cards here so showered with love and I glossy accented the um, umbrella and then she has room on the back if she would like to journal or um, put a little picture so there's a nice portrait size photo right here another little um, strip down the side here where she can put a date or just write something she wants and um, over here I added some of the cut aparts and then for this side this is the tenth month um, photo mat so that's a pretty large mat so she can get lots of room there for photos or for some journaling so this right here is the 11th month and um, I kind of went to town with this one decorating it um, I did put the little measuring tape along the bottom and um, glossy accented the heart and I cut out the little scallop border I added a couple journaling tags right in here. One says rub a dub dub and it's got the little um, ducky right there. So she can do some journaling on here. And this one has the little sailboat. And of course room for a little picture or more journaling on the back. She has a nice landscape port, um, landscape style uh, photo mat here. And I also put at the top love beyond measure. And you can stick your photo kind of underneath the words if you'd like. And this right here is the mat for the 11th month. So of course, again, I have some decorative um, features here, some cut aparts, and it says you and me. And then you can stick your picture underneath the, um, the opening over here. Um, if you'd like, I would recommend just uh, once you stick your picture and just to kind of glue it down, even if it's with just temporary or removable kind of adhesive, just to keep it from um, getting stuck inside the actual um, the actual pocket so on to the last month we have 12 months old so this one too I kind of um, decorated it up um, there was a little uh, cupcake with a candle and I thought that was really sweet so I put that in there um, here is a little um, journaling card and there's a nice horizontal um, style photo mat right here. You can, again, stick a photo underneath this area. And I love this little um, cut apart right here that says cutest baby ever. Um, I think that's really cute for their first year. And here is the pullout for your first year. And it has um, a couple areas where you can add some pictures or even some journaling over here and of course journaling on the sides and that just gets tucked back into its pocket and for the middle I kind of made something a little bit different than I did in my other um, album this I put here is a little waterfall and I had extra paper so I thought I'd use it up and give her a place where she can add some pictures, um, just random pictures or maybe even um, extra pictures from 
um, ultrasounds or um, pictures at the hospital or pictures with um, grandma and grandpa and whatever she'd like to add. So this right here is magnetized and I used the little Insta Suite um, camera cutout and I did glossy accent some of the elements. So that just flips down and she has lots of room for um, pictures. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six areas of pictures and of course in here you can put some journaling on um, the tab in the middle here. And then I did um, a couple pockets. So this little pocket along the bottom with the little elephants holds a few um, journaling tags. So she can do some extra journaling on these, add them where she likes within the album, switch them up, um, add pictures to the back if she likes. Um, but I thought they looked really cute in here. And because I did have lots of extra, I made um, It's All About Me Into the Moon. It's just a little trifold pullout. And on the back it says You and Me. So there's um, two of those. So I don't know if she wants to give um, these out to anybody or keep them for herself. Good things come in small packages. So room for some pictures on these. And then of course I made some extra photo mats in here. So she can add um, photos and journaling to these spots here. And I'm sorry about the light. We keep getting um, some sun and then some clouds. So it's uh, one of those days where the lighting's just not the greatest. Um, but hopefully the video turns out um, well enough to see anyways. So this is my baby album for the first year using uh, Simple Stories Hello Baby paper stack. And I use the six by six. So um, I did use two out of that and I think I just have like really scraps left because I really went to town with decorating um, a lot. I added some um, new elements that I didn't have in my last one. So it just gets put back together like that and tie it with a bow and it's all ready. So Tiffany I hope you like this. Um, it was really fun to make and I'm glad you contacted me and I'm really happy to be able to make your gift for you and I will be shipping this out on Monday so I hope you enjoy it and I hope it brings you lots of joy and you can document lots of pictures in here. I'm not sure if you're giving it away as a gift or not but whoever the recipient is I hope they love it and thanks for joining me. Bye!